Welcome to the first video in our market data option series, how to track an options position in a single cell. By the end of this series, you'll be able to track any of your options positions in Google Sheets and have everything update automatically. So remember to like and subscribe and you'll get all the updates as they come out. Today, we're going over the covered call. A covered call is 100 shares of stock plus a short call position. So to track the value of this position, we need to know how much will it cost us to close it. That means how much will we be paid for our stock when we sell it, and how much will we have to pay uh, to buy back our short call option. Uh, so let's find, let's do an example. Um, let's try the, uh, the March 18th expiration and we'll go ahead and use uh, use SPY. So for our example, we're gonna use the March 18th expiration and we'll find a, uh, a strike that's about uh, a 30 delta. So that's gonna be a 450 uh, strike, which is uh, out of the money at the time we're recording this video. Uh, so the first step, let's get the price of SPY and we're gonna do that using the stock data function. And this is very simple, just like Google Finance. And now let's get the price of the call. Uh, so that's gonna be using the option data function. And we'll need to uh, use the option symbol. So that's gonna be SPY 2203.18C for call, 00450, and then three trailing zeros. Uh, and that'll do it. And so now we have the price of that call today. Uh, now let's put that all together in a single cell and that'll get us the value of this position. So that's gonna be 100 uh, times stock data spy minus, since this is a short option position, option data, and then our spy 2203.18C00450000. And that will give us the value of the position in a single cell. Now let's see how we can update uh, the value of this position. Uh, because obviously this is gonna change throughout the day as the market is moving. Uh, so there we just open up the market data panel. And when you open the panel, it'll refresh on its own and update all your prices in all your market data functions. Uh, and you can just leave this panel open throughout the trading day. And then there you go, there's the refresh button and you can uh, refresh that yourself. Now what this will let us do is build a, a tracker for this trade. We can just put this value here as the net liquidating value for our trade. And this will update throughout the day. And then we can just do another formula, a static formula with our original price uh, when we entered the trade. Uh, so that's gonna be, let's say that, uh, that we bought the shares of SPY for 430 and we sold the call for $9. So that's gonna, that's gonna be 100 times 430 minus nine. And there we have our entry price also in a single cell. And that's obviously that cell's not gonna update. Uh, but then what will update is when we put in our profit and loss. And so this will update our profit and loss automatically throughout the day as well. Our profit and loss is going to be our net liquidating value minus our trade entry price. And there you go. And so now we have in a single cell our updating price, the, uh, the updating price for our, our trade. And then our profit and loss is also going to update. Uh, and there we go. And that is how you build an options tracker. Check the description section of the video for all the formulas that were used in this spreadsheet, as well as the link to download the market data add-on. Remember, you need the market data Google Sheets add-on in order to, uh, to make these formulas work. I hope this has been educational, and remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the videos in this series.